Um, but I'm wearing the same attire that I wore the other night. <laughs> uh, yes, I do know that I'm wearing the same attire from the other night. On Wednesday morning, mid-morning, we lost Bart Andrews. And um, Bart, he was a, uh, he and Doris are guardians of women's basketball program. Do a lot for us and uh, show us unbelievable support financially, but also attend every home game, some road games, um, as well as they, they travel the country and their, and their motor home. Bart and Doris also have ties to Jennifer and I in Arkansas, and we didn't know that when we came here, but they kind of took us under their wing and um, um, out of a show of respect, Bart's last martial event was Tuesday night women's basketball. And so for the rest of the season, all our home games, I'll wear the exact same thing. Um, it is, it's one of the ways that, you know, you never know what to say or what to do, the right thing to say or do. But it's one of the ways, I hope we can find out a way to insulate Doris with our love uh, as, she, as she needs it. Bad and this unexpected <clears throat> turn of events. But it's one of the ways that I can do it subtly um, out of a show of respect for their family and in the celebration of uh, Bart's amazing, amazing life uh, and their, their philanthropic uh, beliefs. So uh, I'm wearing the same laundry. On to the game. As mad as I was the other day, I'm that glad today. Uh, we got a crew today that was more focused. We moved the ball more offensively. We were more focused defensively. You know, we held them to 66 points, and I say held them because they had 20 at the end of the first quarter. They were on pace to get 80. And um, we made some adjustments, and our team did a good job adjusting. Uh, they came after us late, tried to make a push, and tried to make us get out of character a little bit, and we handled it fine. We made some adjustments at halftime by handling some breaks. We handled the break a lot better in the second half and got dead layups. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm really, really pleased heading into Thanksgiving, and uh, obviously this week, more than most, I, I am very, very thankful to be a part of this family that's much bigger than the game of basketball. That's all I got. <laughs> Ken, what about your start? You throw up 15 in the first quarter. Everybody's looking through the book, here's your career high, and then, you know, maybe you did eventually, but what, you made everything. Yeah. Just one of those things? Yeah, it was just, it felt good. Everything I shot felt good, so I was just going to keep shooting until I did, so didn't make it no more. And eventually I cooled down. But you get 15, but then the way everybody, when it's all said and done, it's spread out. Yeah, um, I wanted that to happen because I wanted the team to take the pressure off of me and everybody equal scoring because I know we can. We could each get 15 if we wanted to. What about your behind the back or the little head pass to your teammate there for that layup? That kind of got him excited and everybody else. That's just standard. I don't remember. You went like this. You went <laughs> to your teammate there and she scored on a layup. They called timeout right after that. Oh, okay. I remember. You're going down and kind of yeah, looking just, that way and the ball went that way. Yeah, I saw her. <coughs> she was on me and I looked to the side of my eye and saw Ashley's side so just it sounds like it's just typical of you, though. I mean, we get amazed, but it's like, I do it all the time. You know, that's what's, that's what's funny about it is <clears throat> kind of Tana's the same way. That, well, their skill set is really good. Our, our team's skill set's pretty good. And when you're not reading play, you're just reacting. You know, and, and, and you hear a lot of NFL coaches a lot that we want to prepare so that they play free in the game day. You know, she... I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't remember it. And I, I, I was really excited about the play. I didn't know she threw it behind her head. I'm just glad it got there, and I would have went nuts if it didn't. You know? <laughs> that's whether she bounced it, kicked it, whatever. Um, but uh, our, our team's pretty good. We're still trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out lineups. We started a different lineup today, and the lineups were a little bit different and, and funky. And um, you know, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with our crew. And we're so deep, it'll probably continue all year long. I hope they can handle it. If they can handle what we're doing now, we'll, we'll be okay. If not, we'll struggle a little bit. But the reason the reason we set this schedule this year is to learn a lot about ourselves moving forward. 
And um, I think we're doing that. We're challenging them. One of the things I talked to them about the other day, and I know you really want to talk to them, <clears throat> we talked about pressing because we are so <coughs> deep and everybody wants minutes. I don't care if Keanu would have scored 90 today. I don't want her to play 30 minutes. I want to balance it out so we're not fatigued and we've got good energy in the game. And they get frustrated sometimes if Kia wouldn't have hit her first shot or Shana doesn't hit her first shot, their day could be over. You know, and I, this is a classroom. That floor is a classroom. And, and that, that day is a test. Well, I mean, if you make a B in, in chemistry, you're pretty excited. And this is the hardest class you'll ever take on a college campus is college basketball. So if you miss one shot, that's just one question on the test. You can still get an A. It's not the day. It's just one question. So I, I think we responded to that a little bit today. And, and then when we responded to the break, it's like bonus questions where we drop it off and now we're scoring <coughs> layups and then you get the margin, you know, spread a little bit. And, and uh, we, we're educating. We're a young group. And, and we're a successful group individually, so we're educating them in a lot of different areas. Shane, about the way you did pull away at the end, because it's just tight, 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 and you look up, it's like, what happened? <laughs> Y'all just put them away, I mean. I think it was more um, executing the game plan and coming out and playing defense and rebounding. You had to really focus on rebounding in the second half, just execute the game plan. Anything else? Great. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.